final cutout of patterns. There are three sizes. Uh, let me show them to you here. There's one big one here, two, and medium is three. So basically small, medium, large. Um, the dress, okay, and right now you're looking at side panel um, left, okay. Um, we'll end up getting a pretty good flow as the model moves. <clears throat> um, real quickly, I just wanted to show you something here. Um, how this gets assembled is very important. Um, there are three leaves, like I had said earlier, and a special leaf that locks in. There we go. Jeez. Like I said, there's an order. Um, when the final dress gets assembled, then um, it will be a very methodical add leaf, next leaf. You can't you know, mess it up. So, sort of like um, crochet. Sort of. Okay. Um, so. This one here is the back one. It's the big one. This one fits in. I don't know if you can see it. This one fits in here just like that. Okay. And that locks in um, the positioning of those two. And um, I'm going to put it right back on my holder, which is also currently my model. Um, I'm going to slide that right back on there. And, oh, there we go. So, sorry, I have a little uh, tape on the end to serve as a stop so it doesn't eh, fall off. Okay, um, so there you go. Um, when this does get inserted, this has to be lifted up. And I'm hoping you can see this. Eh, I'll try to show you here. Um, this gets lifted up. The small leaf goes in. And then a big leaf comes right underneath it like that so that fills up the space and of course a uh, another small leaf uh, follows this so that that's the pattern this comes down and helps lock everything in place okay it, it's not perfect um, and after a little bit of walking practicing shuffling around the model will have to be fluffed again um, basically put in um, spaces between leaves, hook them together. It's a uh, to be determined exactly how that works. But it will work. 